Hello and welcome to Visual Studio Bytes. Thank you for joining in. Today I'll be showing you the testing tool options and settings available in Visual Studio. Well, sometimes when you create a test project you get a pop-up or uh, when you run a test or delete a test or uh, delete a test run you get certain pop-ups. Sometimes you like them, sometimes you don't like them. Well, you have the options of enabling or disabling um, these pop-ups and more test settings by going to tools choosing options going to test tools now if you see here you get uh, a list of everything that's configurable like for instance when closing a, a, a running a manual test you have a prompt well if you don't like that prompt you can turn it off from here similarly the default dialog box actions can also be enabled disabled from here if you run a lot of tests uh, and every time you run a test uh, a test run history is generated by default you're only allowed to uh, keep the last 25 runs. If you wanted to keep data more than that then you have the option of um, changing that uh, by changing the value here. Um, apart from that when you create a test project a unit uh, test.cs file gets generated. Well if you don't like that you have the option of enabling disabling that from here. You also have the option of specifying what uh, default language would you like the uh, the default test project to be created in you have the option of choosing C C sharp and visual basic and if you have C++ installed then you can use uh, visual C++ test project um, as well um, if you do a lot of web performance testing when you start a new web performance test the IE recorder gets loaded with a blank URL but if you wanted to record or have that IE browser uh, recorder load with a specific URL then you can specify that setting here the testing tools are available under the test menu in Visual Studio. From here you can not only create a new test, you can create a new VSMDI file, you can run all the tests, you can debug your test, you can manage your test controllers, um, and uh, select the active test settings. So it's in order to see this, um, I'll open one of my existing solutions. Alternatively, when you create a new project um, in Visual Studio, you will see a folder solution item gets added as part of your uh, solution and now under the solution items you can see I have uh, the test run config file um, the test run config file is nothing but the test setting files that I see here now a project can have more than one test setting files like for instance I can come in here right click and say add new item test setting file let's name it local test setting file so I've got two ses test setting files I'm just gonna accept the defaults and press close now I can come in here and and select which one do I want to apply in the context so when I run the test it will pick up the settings that I have specified in that test settings file um, so the truth is you can only have one active test setting file in one context. Apart from that you can um, mm, edit your test setting files from here. Um, you also have the option of uh, looking up all the other test related windows. Like for instance if I go to windows and choose test views then all the unit tests in my project are loaded here. Apart from that I have the option of grouping my tests by let's say work items, class names, projects, um, test enable, disable, test. Alright, so if I click the nerddinner.vsmdi file, I see that all the tests in my solution are loaded here. And I have the option of uh, creating test list. So I can come in and say continuous integration, press OK. And out of all these tests, the test that I wanted to be run as part of my continuous integration um, test category, I could select them and drop them into the CI. Now I have the option of associating my VSMDI file to my team builds uh, and within the team build I have the option of saying hey team build you are a CI build whenever you run run all the tests which are branded in the test list as CI so all these tests during the test execution will be picked up and executed which is great right you can you can fragment your tests based on test settings uh, associate them with different lists and as long as you're maintaining this rich data you can even come in and group them uh, 
based on the properties that, that you've set up for them. So that's about the test settings file um, and the VSMDI file. Apart from that you have other windows such as the test list editor, uh, the test risk. So just to quickly recap, today we explored where the team, um, where the test setting uh, properties and options can be configured from. Uh, also we had a look at where all the testing related tools are kept um, within Visual Studio. Uh, thank you for joining in and today's session was presented by Tarun Arora.